to calculate the probabilities or the area under a bell curve you first need to enter the statistic mode again by pressing mode 2 1 you go to the table we don't need values now press a C to abort and now go into, into the calculation mode by pressing shift 1 and 5 for the distribution mode we are just interested in the option 1 and option 3 P and R Q and D are not very important with the P function you are calculating the area on the left side of the value so the values which are smaller than the given one and with R you are calculating the values which are bigger than the other or on the right side so let's say we already calculated some z-scores and want to know what the area of the z-score is which smaller which is smaller than 1 press shift 1 and 5 again and now we have to ask ourselves to use P or R we are looking for the area smaller than 1 so we are using P because we are looking for this area so press P and enter the value you have there you have your probability press shift recall A to store it put it away another case V is greater than 1 press shift 1 5 now we are looking at R because we are interested in this area so we use R and type in 1 there we go we have the area press shift store and B to save it and <coughs> just for shit and jiggles we call A and see if we get kind of 1 now you see both probabilities give one now to a more convenient one what if we want to know the area between 0 and 1 it's kind of like this it's not that hard per shift 1 and 5 again we are using P and always put the bigger value at first place and substitute it with the smaller one so we get 0 0.344 something I start to see just to have it. So what we did was to first calculate these um, probabilities, the area under the curve, and then substitute it with P0.